So we're back on with a walk about KCTV. We've come up the left hand side of the harbour in Cassiope Harbour. We've just passed Irene's shop, last shop for the beach. We're about 100 metres past that. We've got Cassiope Bay behind us and now we're going to take a walk down to the beaches. Batteria, Canoni and Pipitos and, and show you what we've got to offer down. This, I have to say, is Cassiope at its scenic best. As Sarah pans out to the right, you can see Albania in front of you. Fantastic, glorious views of the mountainous country there. The Ionian Sea down below, there's people already swimming in these crystal clear seas. Take a wander down. As we wander down the pathway towards the beaches, it's pretty good underfoot down this way. The paths are nice. You can bring a pram up here. It's, it's, you can bring your car down here if need be. Uh, but it's a pleasant walk, so I suggest you try and walk most places in Cassiope. You can see now in the distance, about 100 metres away, we've got Batteria and Canoni Beach. Absolutely fantastic. Spend the day on there. Oh, awesome. On Batteria and Canoni Beach and Papitos Beach, you will find umbrellas, you will find... Uh, sunbeds uh, to, uh, available to rent. Uh, I'm not sure of the prices at the moment. Or you can just choose to put your towel down of course. So on the left hand side up here behind this mountainous rock is Cassiope Castle. Uh, it's the oldest castle, the oldest fort on Corfu. Uh, history says there were there was something around that area as, as far back as 600 AD. Castle ruins weren't there, the castle walls, but there were signs when they did a dig they found some coins way back dated to that era. Now Sarah brings you and puts you right into this scenic beach area that Cassiope has to offer. I mean it's fantastic. Just look at it. People enjoying themselves already. And I think the sea temperature in June is still going to be a bit cool, but not too bad once you're in. The little headland that we've got here, where Canoni, Battery and Pipitos are, offer great snorkelling, uh, great snorkelling opportunities. You will see plenty. Come down with some bread from yesterday, take it in the sea with you and uh, you'll certainly find a few fishy friends all of a sudden. Got this small headland here, there's a beach behind this headland. If you take the path, if you where Sarah's pointing the camera now, there's a path that goes over the top of the headland and uh, there's a private beach down there which is a bit more secluded and fantastic I must say. Here we've got the snack bar area here, we've got the restaurant so you don't have to go all the way back into Cassiope uh, to get an ice cream or refreshments. Here we're looking at Papitos Beach now. On Papitos Beach again there's sunbeds, umbrellas, And uh, used to be pedlos and canoes, still are I think. Not out just yet though. A little bit early in the season. We'll just take a walk up to show you Trilogia restaurant, which is on the left hand side here. On an evening, this is where you're going to see fantastic sunsets. And it is one of the uh, how do we say it? More refined restaurants in Cassiope. Take a look at the view you'll get if you're dining out in Trilogia. Anyway, that's going to end our walkabout for now. We've done about half the headland, half Cassiope headland. We've shown you three beaches. And uh, tomorrow there'll be something else on offer on uh, Cassiope Walkabout with KCTV. Morning folks, here we are. We're on the main street in Cassiope. It's walkabout number 
two, three, anyway, whichever it is, we're going to show you down the main street at Cassiope. It's a glorious day. Sunshine, it's going to be 28 by the end of today. Anyway, let's go. Behind us, we've got the new car hire place. Have a pan round. Look, there's the dentists. It's a little bit early in the morning, so you're not going to see too many people on this walkabout. And everyone's still rising after their nights out, their restaurant or bar extravaganza the night before. Got one of the many travel shops to the right here in Cassiope. Coming up to the newest uh, restaurant in town, Lavanda. Very pleasant looking restaurant. Carry on down the main street, traffic's just getting a little bit heavier. Coming down towards the square now, all together from the top of Cassiope into the square area, it's about 500 metre, uh, 300 metre to 500 metre, somewhere between that walk from the very top of the village to the square area. Got one of the bakeries there. Got the lime lounge to the left of us, that's very popular with the uh, uh, bands and things, you know. Uh, a few shops here where you can pick up your sunglasses and your bag. Check on what you need. Some good stuff. Nicholas Bakery on the right, that's the one, that's the bakery where you want to go and get your morning bread from and your cakes and stuff, fantastic in there. past the stony restaurant we've just got on the left and Strophilia on the right that you're looking at. Travel corner, another one of the many travel shops where you can get all your excursions and various bits and pieces and tickets for things. Coming up to Bolero here on the left. Popular little restaurant, Taverna. about pulling into the square area where we come across Jasmine's which is a nice uh, pleasant place to sit and watch the world go by you can get on the internet in there I would imagine grab yourself an ice cream have a few drinks whatever you fancy and now as we pull into the square area the main square in Cassiope and uh, this is about this for this walkabout because uh, we don't want to keep them too long we want to keep you Keep you updated on everything that's going around, so just check this out. Beautiful, there's a few people milling around waiting for the morning bus. There's Andreas. Hey, yes, sir. There we go, Cafe Neon, straight behind us. Colourful pump pots. Angelo's Bar to the right. Nice place to sit and watch the world go by again. Cassiope Travel there, right in front of us. We're going to wander down now. On your right hand side, you've got Ann Visions Bar. Signal me Visions Bar. Good place to get a cocktail, apparently. And we're coming on to <coughs> this and that, which uh, does all your beach stuff. <coughs> Here's Yogi, coming out of his shop. Apparently they sell some decent stuff in there. <laughs> Sussero down the alley, let's not forget. Coming up Cosmic Travel on the right, one of the many other travel shops in the in the village. Tickets, boat trips, you name it. And here we've got Oasis Hotel to the left. And on the right we've got the right we've got the kids playground. And then we come to the underground shop. All you need. Everything in there. Very colourful these days. It's a little bit noisy. We're looking at men at a few of the lace shops up there to the left. We've got the beauty salon up there to the left as well. And then right down here along the way, you've got all the tourist shops. And uh, we'll just wander along. 
in the distance on the left hand side there you can see Costa's bar very popular on an evening Greek dancing absolutely fantastic Celeste to the right of us we've just passed there's a bank machine if you need a bank machine to the right keep on going past some more tourist shops there's Costa's on the left that's a place to be if you want to see a bit of Greek dancing and another fashion shop here we have the right hand side we have a Cassiope church Church of the Panagia Casapita and on the left hand side we've got the path up there Serapan to that, that takes you up to the castle uh, 12th century castle left hand side here we've got Despoez and now we're heading into the harbour on the right hand side we've got the ice cream shop oh my sweetie sweetie left hand side illusions illusions bar is the party bar if you want to get in there and have a party you want to watch some football it's all happening in illusions right hand side you've got chill grill having a nice time guys Next right hand side you've got the best fit of gear off shop, my favourite, that's where I get my gear off from. Right hand side the old school Cassiope. Fantastic place now we're in the harbour to sit out and watch the world go by and have a good meal. Right hand side here we've got the harbour market. The cafe outside, fantastic place. And we've got Porto restaurant, good for fish. Keep on going along now. We're into the harbour for real. Pan to the left, so there will show you the view. Bit grim today, this evening, bit grey. Keep on going as we go along. We're going to come around the corner and we're going to come to some of the popular bars and restaurants. Petrino restaurant, popular, just starting to, just start, it's about 7.30, quarter past 7 in the evening, so everywhere just starting to filter, people starting to filter into the restaurants. Cafe Bar Dolphin on the right, popular on the morning, not popular anytime, but wide choice in both of these bars, Deja Vu, here right in front of us. Down the alleyway there, right, you've got hotspot, open all hours, must say, open all hours. Keep on going down, we're going to reach what I think has got to be the prettiest restaurant in the village, Uncle Simo's restaurant. It's decked out fantastically. So I'll have a good pan on that in a minute. Hi folks, KCTV here. Guess what we're doing today? We're on the left hand side of the harbour. We're here in Cassiope and we're going to give you a little walk about down the left hand side. Show you how to reach the beaches and show you past some of the uh, quayside uh, bars and restaurants. Anyway, come and follow us. Come on Sarah, let's have a look. As you can see there's a few uh, nice jewellery shops there to the left hand side. Coming into shot now is Molina Bay. Molina Bay is one of the newest uh, hotels in Cassiope. Very smart indeed. Makes the front look very nice. Hi 
as we're walking along here, we're walking towards the beaches. You keep on the left hand side of the harbour. You've got a big load of choices of beaches. Uh, we're just coming up to the Wave Bar, which uh, is an absolutely fantastic area to come and sit outside. Uh, pass a couple of hours maybe, glass of wine or two, maybe something to eat. Check the boats coming in and out. Nice relaxed atmosphere as you can see in the bars, everyone chilling out. Yeah. Definitely a good way to spend the day. Leaving the wave bar behind, we're now coming up to Limani Bar. Limani Bar popular on the evening and during the day. Have a look around. Everyone chilling out. Just gone lunchtime, and we're heading towards the beaches. Cassiope Beach is up this way. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? If Sarah just pans out there, you'll see one of the Coast Guard boats going by, way out in the distance. Maybe not. And to the left hand side here, as we go up, this is the road that leads up to the beaches. Uh, there's a choice of beaches as you go up, all around the headland, uh, fantastic, it's about a 0.5 to, to a K walk all the way around the headland and various beaches uh, that are all fantastic to spend the day on. Uh, and if you look to see straight across right in front of us, Albania and the Ionian Sea, fantastic. Walkabout with KCTV continues here on Calamionis Beach. This is one of the main beaches that Cassiope has to offer. You have a look down there, it's about 10.30 in the morning. There's still people already on the beach and they're just getting ready for a lovely day. Absolutely gorgeous today, spanking hot. It's going to be 28s, 29s I would imagine. You've got Venus Beach Bar down there, great place to sit out and uh, have a drink and stare out to sea. Right next to us here we've got Janice Restaurant, very popular for uh, your sunsets on an evening. Nice romantic meal. Calamionis is, uh, as we come from the main square, we're turning left and we're going along the road as though we're heading out of Cassiope and you'll come across Calamionis Beach on the right hand side. Here we hit the main road that passes through Cassiope, that passes just on the outside of Cassiope. And uh, one of the many lace shops in Cassiope. Uh, here we've got Janice Restaurant again from the other side. So this is now we're heading into Cassiope towards main square and uh, you'll see what Cassiope has to offer along the way. Slightly quieter road that Cassiope has. Coming up to one of my favourite restaurants in the village. Uh, very traditional, meat charcoal based. If you're not a meat fan, steer clear, but if you're a meat fan, this is the place for you. Absolutely fantastic. Cooked traditionally on coals, you can get some fantastic food out of Tragos there. Great. And as we come up on the right hand side here, there's a little tourist shop. So if you're heading out to the beach, you can pick up things from here on the way to the beach. Got Seasons Internet Cafe and Games Bar there on your right hand side. Left hand side some lovely flowers, I have to say, private housing. Uh, we come along, as we come along the road towards Cassiope Square, we come across Castello restaurant, again a popular restaurant, most of the restaurants in Cassiope are, they're all pretty good restaurants, Tavernas, one of the many 
supermarkets coming up here, Catalogue Road to Water, Fishmongers on the right, Children's Shop to the right as well, and then one of the, uh, the only Italian restaurant in the village, which is absolutely fantastic, Little Italy. And that's where, if you want a pizza or a pasta, that's the place to go. Carry on to the main square. We'll go all the way. On the left hand side here, just behind the van, you've got some chemists. So if you need the chemist, just off the main square. Uh, unfortunately, if you need the chemist, hopefully you'll, uh, you won't need the chemist, but there it is. Central bar on your left hand side here. Uh, beauty shop on the right hand side. Pick up your potions and your lotions. Uh, here's the big bike. Great place to grab an ice cream or a quick snack. Shopland, the new delicatessen in town. Looks fantastic. This is where you can get your gluten free stuff and your specifics. Here's number seven. The other chill grill uh, bar in the uh, square. Vimitrak, that's the uh, supermarket there in the main square. Here we are, Cassiope Main Square. Morning folks, KCTV here. KCTV here. We're on one of the many of our walkabouts here in Cassiope. We're in the harbour at the moment. We're on the right hand side of the harbour. Nice time to come down, about quarter to ten, ten o'clock. The boats are just leaving for the daily trips, as you can see behind me. And everyone's just starting to wake up. Not hundreds of people around at the moment, but it's a pleasant morning nonetheless. Ionian behind me. Albania right in front of us, great way to start the morning. There's Virginia's bar, fantastic place to sit out on a night time. Tavernaki, very popular restaurant. That's you've got a book if you want a table there. And as we go down you can see the many boats from all over. Boat that's from the UK registered. We've got an Italian registered boat there. We've got some of the Philippos boats ready to go out for the day. Everyone's starting to mill about, looking towards a bit of boat hire, enjoying the early morning, going for coffee. Fantastic places to sit out here for coffee. Great way to start the day. Philippos boat hire right in front of us, that's where all these boats are from. There's some absolutely monsters, but there's some nice little boats for beginners. Kalua bar there on the left. There you go on the left hand side, Philippos boats on a morning, looking pretty busy there. Getting, them, getting people ready to go out for the day. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're now looking across the harbour. You can see some of the other bigger boats. Here we're coming across Angevines. Great place to sit out on a night time. And once we've passed Angevines by, you come up to the harbour bar. Popular in the middle of the summer. Very popular in the middle of the summer. Great place to sit and watch the world go by. Just like the whole of the harbour. Anyway, that's probably just about enough for this walkabout. Right inside of the harbour, Cassiope, what a fantastic place to come and spend the morning.